Hello, my name is Paul Turner and I'm an osteopath and I do a lot of multidimensional healing. And for a long time, a lot of my clients have been asking me to create a meditation course or some meditation exercises um, because they find them very useful to help them to self-heal. Um, the, so what I've decided to do is create a self-healing course and I'm going to put it in different modules. Um, and these are some of the topics we're talking about, levels of being, energy centers, time, forms and relationships. Now, the reason these are important is because if you're going to do some meditation, you need to understand a little bit about these topics in order to make the most of your meditation. And you need to sort of understand what it is you're trying to do to self-heal. Um, to heal the self, you really got to be balanced in like time and space. You need to be nice and centered, right in the center. So you need to be centered in all different levels of our being. We need to be centered through our energy centers. We need to be centered in time, in the present, in the, in the eternal now. And we need to have a nice harmonious relationship between us and the external world and other people in the world. So the first module we'll talk about is to do with levels of being, which I've just described down here. But because I talk about that in the first module, um, I'm only going to mention it briefly here. But the main things to be aware of to understand this diagram is this central line here, you could say represents our life energy. That's who we are as an individual being. And each level of being here represents what I call forces operating at each level. So physically here, it's what we're usually thinking about. Um, the self, the life energies or who we are will interact with the physical world in order to gain mastery over physical forces, for example. And the same happens emotionally and mentally. So that brings us to this sort of topic, which is what I wanted to talk about today to introduce all the different bits of information. So in this diagram, what I've drawn here is a circle, <coughs> a sun, that represents health. So you could call that health, you could call that your higher self, you could call it truth, um, anything positive and, and helpful in your life, you could use this, this to represent health. So health typically to me represents ease, balance and function. So if health is manifesting through, this is what I call the bucket of the personality. So um, the bucket of the personality is got the mental, this is representing the mind, this is representing the emotions, and this is representing our physical body. And here you have physical man. So when you go in and see a healer, for example, or a manipulative therapist, what they're really doing is they're aligning the physical body so the body is balanced, like so. But the trouble with that is, if the issue is occurring on a higher level, so in this case on the diagram, I've represented a little splotch here, purple splotch, that represents, say, an issue on the mental level. Now, if that mental issue is what, say, let's say that's a faulty belief system. That faulty belief system, if a person's attached to it, means eventually it's going to manifest in the physical body as an illness or a, or a, a disease of some sort. And when we just treat the physical body, we might align the physical body, but it's not actually real healing because the issue is still occurring on a mental level. Now, if you come back up to the top of the diagram, if that healthy life energy is manifesting through the mind, through the emotions and through the body, you'll end up with the manifesting as health on a physical level, like so. And therefore you'll have a more healthy life, everything will be in sync. As I said, if you're operating from an, an issue here, that will manifest. Now the trouble is when we're attached to an issue, you could say that that issue deflects our life energies into the issue and that deflecting of life energies keeps that issue alive for as long as we believe in it. So it's the same energy that's animating the problem. So when we're healing, we, we, as long as we're attached to that problem, it's like a drug addict, addict shooting up with energy. That energy is keeping the problem alive as long as we believe in it. So when we're healing, what we really need to do is we need to notice, say if this is a mental issue, we need to go back to where we're feeling healthy on a mental level because if we align ourselves with that health, that life energy is going to manifest healthily through the problem and then manifest in the body. But we go a little bit further than that because you can be technically aligned, but still have an issue in the mind. So what we do is by aligning to the health, we can allow the health to flow in. And what I, I call it finding the edges. You imagine that you're finding the edges of your belief system, faulty belief system, and you surround it and then you work your way through it to clear the issue on a mental level. And because it's clearing on a mental level, that means that life, you've actually healed the problem where it occurred. This health on a mind level is gonna get bigger. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. 
and therefore more health flows into the physical body and manifests in the physical body. Because we've healed it on a mental level, that programming isn't there anymore, therefore the, the, the issue in the body should eventually start to right itself and become good because nature will start to self-heal and restore balance to the body. So that occurs on every level. So we could have a mental issue, we could have an emotional issue, and if those are still latent in the system, they're always going to manifest as a physical health problem. So that brings us to this diagram here. To heal, what you really need, you really need three things to be aware of to heal. The first is you need to know where the problem is. So by finding the edges of the problem and identifying what level it's on, and also noticing how it's affecting the physical body, you have an awareness of the disease or the pattern of disease. You also need to know where you're healthy in your body because the best way to repair or heal is to you don't heal from a broken step, you heal from a healthy step. So it's nice to know where you're already operating from for health because if you identify with that, that is what gets stronger. Then you, it's sort of like two people, you put them in the same room and you find a point of balance, a fulcrum point from which they can start to rebalance their relationship. So if you can place your awareness in a position that's aware of both the health and disease and find a balance so that they're talking to each other, then the health can start to, the disease all often argue and resist and react and health will stay happy. Um, and, but eventually the problem starts to realize that the health is trying to help it and it'll start to get to what's called a neutral point. Then it'll start to allow itself to resolve the issue and learn a, a better skill. And then eventually they'll come into balance and then you'll get a nice harmonious ebb and flow in other words, the problem will disappear, health will start to manifest more, and the seesaw, everything's in balance, it becomes one. So that, in a sense, is um, what the healing's all about. And we're going to talk about that more in each of these modules. But for now, I just sort of wanted to introduce this idea that to truly heal, you sort of need to be aware, aware of where the issue really is and not just focus on the physical effects. Because with a multidimensional model, you sort of have to look at all of these elements to truly understand why we're in trouble. So each of these modules will help you to gradually build an awareness of that. And I've created a lot of self-healing exercises that help you to tap into each of these levels, educate you and then tap in and allow yourself to find a balance within your own system. So that's the whole idea. Um, so hopefully you enjoy all of this and um, hopefully the rest of the answers will be questions will be answered as we go through the, the courses. Thank you.